Hi girls. Hi. Nice to see you again. Well, standing next to me is one of the names behind one of Australia's freshest new labels, Magdalena Valevska. Hi. Hi. Magdalena has designed for Akira Isagawa, Nicola Fanetti and Lisa Ho. But more recently, she has launched her own eponymous label and you will be modelling her designs today. We have brought you to this beautiful house in Coogee to compete in a runway challenge. But this is a challenge like no other. You girls will be required to walk on a tiny 13 inch runway suspended over this pool. I just thought that was all we are going to have to do, walk along a tiny little catwalk on a pool, which I thought would be hard enough. In one of these clear plastic bubbles. When that big, huge bubble came out <laughs> into the pool, it was awful. It was like our worst nightmares came true. Am I going to fit in one of those? <laughs> How on earth are we going to walk in this? Like, this is just crazy. Okay, just don't watch yourself off the edge. Water. Yesterday, they made us walk on sand, and today, they want us to walk on water in a giant bubble. I don't like small spaces, and being put in a bubble doesn't sound like the best of things. Now girls, as an added incentive to this challenge, there is going to be a wonderful prize for the winner. If you win, you will be taken tonight for a two hour spa treatment at the Ayurve Day Spa. Aww. Now Magdalena will be out here along with Charlotte and Sarah to judge each and every one of your walks. So the pressure's on. Okay, let's get you into hair and makeup. Walking on like a Zorg on like a 13 inch platform, I don't really know how to deal with that. <laughs> but I think if anyone can do it or at least bring that otherworldly kind of sense to the collection, I think it's going to be you. Well, thank you. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully I do proud. I hope so too. Good luck. Thank you. Okay girls, listen up. It's almost showtime, and although this might seem like a crazy challenge, I need you to remember what you learnt yesterday. Great posture and above all balance. And just one more thing, girls. Um, it's incredibly windy out there, so good luck. <laughs> well, we set challenges like this because the girls are going to find themselves in pretty confronting situations, and runways aren't always just a plank of wood. Sometimes they're in swimming pools with big plastic balls. <laughs> I'm looking for two things. One is using the balance and posture they learned yesterday because it is going to be difficult to balance in this. But they have to remember this is a professional catwalk show. They have to show off the clothes. And they have to be focused. If they do fall over, it's how they pick themselves up and exactly. keep going. You know, I, I don't want to see a girl give up today. I'll be really disappointed. Being the first person to do it was definitely nerve-wracking. As soon as I got in the bubble and they opened the curtain, I just lost everything. I just completely blanked and went into survival mode. Holding my hands out, laughing at the crowd, just did not look anything like a model. I don't know about their facial expression. I think this is a girl not modelling. Jess looked so funny because she just did not know what to expect and didn't know what to do. There was no modelling in that. OK, that is not a good start. I want to see at least one girl rock it out today. I thought to myself at first I might be able to do this. I did dancing for years and years and I thought uh, the ballet might come in handy with walking. Oh. Oh. Now see, she's good. Attitude. Modelling in the face, which is good. She's good. working the sides. Yeah. I mean, that's a different way of trying to balance. Yeah, it's almost like she's she in a photo gorgeous. shoot. Caroline popped. She looked beautiful and she gave us something that was, which was fashion and that's mm. what this was all about. She really gave us those poses at the end and made sure that we'd seen the dress, which at the end of the day is her job. Yeah. Oh, that was good. I was impressed. I believe the brief was looked straight ahead and eyes up, but uh, yeah, I did really did not want to fall off. That was my main goal, so I didn't look up or have my eyes straight ahead. <laughs> she hasn't made it yet. Uh, Caroline was confident. She was insecure in the eyes. If you want to judge me, get in a Zorb ball and do it yourself. Look how beautiful she looks. It's 
gorgeous. Slow and steady wins the race. If you were to do that in a runway show, it would have taken an hour and a half. I prefer someone fall off if they gave it their all and yeah. they kind of came out confident and, and did something for oh, us rather than just being so <laughs> petrified to move. Me too. First step looks like it's tricky. She's good. Girl. She's doing really well. Beautiful posture too. She's been the fastest out of all of them. The pace is good. She powered down that runway. Yeah, she's gorgeous. The dress looks great. And she should be really proud of herself. Yeah. Good big marks for Taya. Yeah. Oh, there we go, stomping them. Woo! And she's not even looking down. Oh, here we go. And a lovely smile. <laughs> go, go. I did my best to keep my balance and posture and focus, but yeah, no. <laughs> oh. So it's bubble time, and I'm confident. I'm feeling like, yeah, I can do this. No one's fallen over yet. Great. I just love how everything matches her hair, the backdrop. Oh! I think I was kind of relieved when she fell over. <laughs>
I wanted to cry when Rachel fell off. It was like a car crash happening in slow motion and you just couldn't look away. You're all right, babe. It's all right. It felt like five minutes that I was down there. Um, <laughs> I think I tried probably to get off, oh, I don't know, at least five times, but um, but eventually when I found it, that, that was good. I just, I needed to sort of center myself and find, find like my focus again. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, girls, for completing probably one of the toughest challenges we've had. Kind of the most entertaining. <laughs> it was interesting to see who really coped under that kind of pressure and who remembered that they're actually in a modelling runway. So they need to really compose themselves and look great and, and show off, of course, Magdalena's beautiful designs. Look, I just think after the lesson, I, what I am so proud of with all of you is that your focus, all of you, even those of you who stacked it royally, which was really awesome and funny, <laughs> um, you kept your focus, you got up, your composure was amazing. I'm really proud of how far you, you've come and you made the clothes look beautiful. I think you did a really good job. And you know there is a winner at these challenges. Well, we decided after today that we really should choose the two winners. One who really showed professionalism, poise, confidence and elegance walking in a bubble somehow. That's a big achievement. The other side was that we felt we really should award the other winner as the person who has showed the most perseverance. So the first winner is Annalise. I really felt like I was going to go home last week. I didn't feel as much confidence in Paris on our photo shoot as much as I wanted to. So winning a challenge really gave me a lot of confidence and I'm really kind of hoping that that kind of means that I won't go home this week. <laughs> and the second winner was a tight race. The one who persevered and kept getting up, Rachel. <laughs> If I knew that they were going to be in the running for a prize for, like, landing in a pool, I would have thrown myself off the end of the runway. <laughs>
powerful, fast walk. Own it. All right, go. Oh, it's clumsy. Nail it. Miss J's watching. Go. When did hands on the hips become in fashion? I'm just thinking, you know what, there's music, I'm gonna rock the beat, I'm just gonna work it. And I like to think that I did. Look, she is nailing this. That was really good. Angelia, let's go. Give me another runway without a bubble and I'll show you what I have. But I mean, that's a one in a lifetime experience though. Know how the bubble moves, but it's just like it was not working properly. I think I had got like a defective bubble or something. Girl down. I'm like, you know what, we about to end this bitch with a bang. So I was like, voila, like, <laughs> I'm out this bitch. I know Miss J is itching to dig into these walks. Miss J, when did two hands on the hips become vogue when you walking down the runway? You all walk as though you were on the overdose of Viagra. Except it was just for one, stiff, who came but out Miss Brittany gate. came out of, like a pony out of the gate. Came out, made that turn like nobody's business. It was amazing. Bravo to you, sweetie. Yes. Bravo.